Mm. Hello, everyone. <sighs> it's so good to be here. Got a cup of tea, as usual. This is a different mug. We're doing a styling video today. Hooray! When I find brands that I love, I tend to obsess over them a little bit. I've worked with Ozma in the past, and I'm really grateful that I get to work with them again. Again, I'm going to be styling a few different pieces that they sent me and those will be kind of like the grounding elements of these outfits. They have a bunch of new arrivals in stock and so I'm really excited to share a few ways that I like to wear some clothes from Ozma. Ozma is a sustainable, ethical brand based in the U.S. They have ethical partnerships in Peru, I believe. They're a beautiful brand. I swear their philosophy is like pulled straight from my journal. They're all about honoring the process of who you are now, who you're becoming. They celebrate the beauty of imperfection. They use materials that are biodegradable and sustainably sourced and I just, I love that. Anything that will honor our bodies our planet, our home is so important to me and so when I find brands that mirror those values, I love to work with them and Ozma is definitely one of those. So I'm grateful that we get to partner on this video. If you would like a little discount, of course, when you're shopping from them, I have one. And the links to their products below in the description are affiliate links. I'm an affiliate with them. Okay. Disclaimers done. Let's get into these outfits because I think they're kind of fun. Today I'm going to be featuring the Ray cardigan, the Kate Jean, and the Joan Crew sweater. There are so many beautiful pieces on their website right now, and these were just some of my favorites. I got the extra small in both of the sweaters, and they fit me like a glove perfectly. And then also I got the Kate jean in size 25 and I'll have all that info down below for you, of course. And honestly, I feel like these are perfect lines for flamboyant gamine. When I put them on, I was like, oh, hello. Wow. The first outfit I'm talking about today is with the Ray cardigan. I particularly got it in the smallest size because I wanted it to fit close to my skin so I could wear it as like a top instead of trying to wear it over things. It still functions properly wearing it over certain clothes. I have to finesse it a little bit, but what I love about this cardigan is that it's kind of like not a very like rich saturated black. It's kind of like almost a worn in black color, a washed black if you will. It is super cute. So I'm wearing it with the Kate Jean here and just some sneakers. I really have been enjoying wearing sneakers these days because I'm constantly taking my dogs out to play or to the bathroom or whatever. In, in the winter, it's like really tricky to be warm. <laughs> I have a winter styling video, winter inspiration video for Gamines coming up really soon. So if you're curious about how I dress for winter as a smaller framed woman, then definitely subscribe. But yeah, this is the first look. Very simple, black on black with a little pop of color in the sneakers I think is really fun. But of course I switched over to some boots for one. That gives it a bit of an edgy vibe to it. But then also I unbuttoned the top button and opened up the neckline a little bit more. This feels a little bit dangerous for me. I'm still wearing the same jeans, but the look changed a little bit because of the neckline change and the boots. It's very important as a flamboyant gamine to keep things sleek, but also to have a short broken line. And that basically just means that instead of a piece following your body all the way down or following your arm all the way down, it's three quarters of the length or it's a short sleeve. The line always has to break. And so you can do this even with a monochrome look. You don't necessarily need to color block. And to kind of wrap it up, I decided to put on a scarf. I love having a little bit of warmth near my face. I like having a little bit of pattern and texture 
and for a flamboyant gamine, it would be a great choice to do something that felt more geometric. So I feel like plaid is a good way to do that. And it also feels kind of festive, you know, there's something about plaid and the holidays that just feels good, you know? This way, I also have lifted the neckline and given a little bit more playfulness animation near my face, which is the important area for that sort of a thing. I have the same pieces on top, still the Ray cardigan, and then I put on my wide leg denim. So this now, instead of playing with the straight leg denim, gives it a little bit more um, width at the bottom. I love the way these jeans make my butt look, so excuse my gyrating. <laughs> oh, it looks like I have an idea. Oh, what is that? A silk scarf? Basically, in my little brain, I thought, oh, I should showcase this scarf. It's also from Ozma. I love the silk scarves from Ozma. I have one already that is like a very large size, but this one is the dot hanky, and it is smaller, so it has less fabric to work with, which makes it a little bit easier to manage, honestly, if you're just learning how to tie your scarf. So I'm going to put it on my neck, at first. And then to continue with this brown theme, I'm going to put on my leather crossbody. It's beige. It adds a nice long line there to kind of balance out all of the yin that's going on. I think what makes it really flattering for me is just the way that it plays with extremes. So it's very fitted on top and very wide on bottom. Cropped lines all throughout, broken lines all throughout, and it hits at the smallest point on my waist as well, which is, I believe, a space where I should break my line. And I think that's the most flattering for me. I switched my pants once again. So clearly the cardigan is still a star, but I switched my pants to my trouser-esque pant, and I put on some combat boots. This is going to be the base for the next portion of this video. So the cardigan is a perfect find for me because my dream was I wanted a cardigan that I could wear forward and fit open and fit well, but also wear it backwards and have it still be a flattering cut, not have any bunching around the neck area, etc., etc. And this really fits the bill. This really did it. This really did that. Wearing it like this just felt so Audrey Hepburn to me, so I'm really in love with that. And I think wearing it backwards is also a great way to make it feel more formal. And so you can get a casual look, a comfortable look, and then also a formal vibe. Could you imagine pairing that with like a skirt or something as well? Maybe some tights, some heeled boots. I think that just gives it a nice, fun flirtiness. But you know me, I'm freezing cold all the time, so enter the scarf, and we have to have the bag as well. But I think that's such a cute look. What do you think? I wear a lot of oversized pieces on my channel. I like to swim in my clothes sometimes. I like to feel like I'm in a cocoon or a blanket, and so that usually does that for me. And so this is my first time in a while feeling like I have clothes that actually fit my body. Like I usually wear things that are a little bit more boxy, a little bit less form-fitting. It's reminding me of actually a time where I would always wear things that were really form-fitting on top and then kind of baggy on the bottom. I'll talk about this in my style icons video throughout my childhood. So if you haven't seen that one, definitely go check that out because it's a, uh, well. <laughs> All right, let's switch over. We have a different star now. It's the Kate Jean. I love the Kate Jean. I wear these jeans every day. I'm wearing them right now. Um, initially, I was really scared because they were so tight. Like when I put them on, I had to like suck in to breathe and then, or to button them and zip them up. And they were like squeezing everything in me for dear life and very uncomfortable the first few wears. But now that they've kind of broken in, they've kind of relaxed a little bit, they are perfect. Perfect. My butt looks amazing. My legs look balanced. They cinch my waist. They flatter my midsection. They're just <sighs> They are seriously the best jeans that I own. They're the only jeans that I want to wear right now Like I am so pumped about them and they are straight leg and so they don't make my legs do that little wavy thing that like zigzag line 
that they like to do, they fit at my widest point and then they just travel straight down. And I think you can see that in these videos. I'm very impressed by these jeans, for sure. So I think these outfits that are paired with the Kate jean are my favorites. So of course I'm gonna pick my Copeland t-shirt. I love this shirt. Nothing will ever separate me from this shirt, okay? So that feels really casual, really comfortable. And um, I always tuck in my, my t-shirts. And so then I just threw on my trench coat as well because it is still pretty cold and um, I just love the way that this outfit looks, honestly. Cause I do really love like casual and comfortable looks a lot more than formal ones. Like formal ones still make me feel a bit uncomfortable, a little bit silly. When I throw on a t-shirt, jeans and boots, I feel like myself, like I feel pretty good. I'm, it's not necessarily formal wear, but it's like a little bit more elevated looks are harder for me to feel like myself in. Does anybody else feel that way? Like I just, I don't know, I just feel better when I'm wearing something a bit more on the casual side and a bit more on the edgy side, which is why I threw on a crop top that's boxy like this with these jeans. These jeans are so perfect. I just keep staring at like that midsection where my waist is peeking out. I like using my skin to break up my lines. So that means using my wrists, my ankles, my midriff. The way you do that is by wearing things that are cropped. It's really a simple formula. Keeping that in mind, you can do so many different things. So I switched out the boots for sneakers and I'm throwing on a scarf. I've got my beanie on, which I'm amazed fits. Throwing on the scarf instead of like wrapping it around and lifting the line. Since I have so many cropped items on, I really want to pull in a piece that is a bit longer um, to honor my yang dominance in my frame. And so I can wear something like this to the dog park. I can wear it in the backyard. I can take them out for a walk real quick. Yeah, here's my co-star, Mila. She's she's great. She's very cute. You guys know her, you'll love her. All right, you know I couldn't do a look without stripes. You know me. <laughs> the stripes are my solids. They are the best. And I've paired it with the Ray cardigan. Yes, the Ray cardigan is back. It's very much a no-brainer. The top is cropped striped. The thing that would make it better I think is if the neckline was a little bit higher because the line is kind of starting pretty open. It's not necessarily starting from my neck which is where it should start. I don't know what kind of mood I was in yesterday. It was very vibrant. Today I'm like mama, mama. That's how I feel. Last looks. The star of these outfits is the Joan crew neck sweater. When I first put it on I felt pretty much just like the most refined, beautiful creature on this planet. It's alpaca and merino wool, and the weight of the fabric is perfect. It's, it holds its shape, it's not super stiff. It's got this beautiful neckline that is a little bit like a mock neck, it has broken lines within it. The cuffs on it, the neckline and the hemline, they all are a vertical knit where the bodice of it is, and the sleeves are more of that fine knit that doesn't have necess doesn't necessarily have like a striped quality to it, if that makes sense. And so whenever I put this on, especially with the way, the nature of it where it's cropped sleeves, cropped length, it's just like the perfect sweater. Like I don't have to think about it. Like I just throw it on and it's like, I know it's gonna look good. So I paired it with the Kate jeans, and then with my Chelsea boots from Me Solo, and then I wanted to wear my bag with it, but to play with this theme of cropped lines more, I shortened the strap of it by tying a knot. And great, she's spinning. You know what that means, kids. I think that there's enough structure with the perfection of this sweater and the weight of the leather in the boots that a flowy skirt like this works out really well. The lines are all lifted up. So even though the skirt is a longer line, it hits above the ankle, like right in between the ankle and the knee. And I think it looks so beautiful like this. So I wanted to try something with this. Um, I wanted to put on a turtleneck underneath so that we would have some color blocking. And I wanted to play with that visually. The sweater itself is wool, so it's a little bit itchy. And I wanted to make sure that I could 
navigate some of the itchiness of it initially while I break it in. It's not like overwhelmingly itchy, but it's like when you notice it, you notice it kind of a thing. If that's not a deterrent for you, then I would still get the sweater because it does work very well with a turtleneck under it, as you can see. And then I've paired it with some light wash denim. Grab my little mug there, which feels kind of Christmassy, even though I use it year round, and a, a book. And then I also wanted to try this look without the turtleneck to see how I felt, but I feel like it was more harmonious with the turtleneck. But you tell me, which one did you like better, with or without the turtleneck? Thank you so much for hanging out with me during this video. If you liked any of these pieces from Ozma, definitely use my links to shop with them because not only are you supporting a wonderful brand, but you are also supporting me. Speaking of ways to support me, I've started Patreon. How about that? You guys get exclusive access to new videos every week, bonus videos that never step foot on the main channel. This is my heart and soul and I want to tell you guys about this. I wanted to do like a cyclical chat, like a monthly chat every month. I'm deeply connected to the new moon and new moon energy and so on my Patreon, if you are in the $10 group, the $10 tier, you not only get access to the exclusive bonus videos, but also each month you get to participate in the live new moon chats with me. I'm going to be picking a topic, picking a theme, and then diving in really deep on it in hopes that we can connect and know each other well and feel safe and create this little community. So that's like my hope and dream with my Patreon. We can talk about real things. I can talk about things that I'm really interested in that are outside of Kibby, outside of the things that I talk about on my channel. It's still related, it still connects because everything's connected, but I do want to let you know that if you want to participate in the New Moon live chats, and be a part of that part of my world, then definitely go over to Patreon. Consider supporting me over there. Of course, there are other ways you can support me and my channel by maybe sharing this video or telling a friend about me or liking this video, putting a comment down below. Lastly, of course, you can follow me on Instagram at Franny Matthews to keep up with my life throughout the week if you are interested in my brain. I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for giving me your attention in this crazy world. Tell me which outfit was your favorite. Tell me if you're doing anything special this holiday season, if you are celebrating any of these wintery holidays. I don't know. Depends on what hemisphere you're in, I guess. Oh, Fran, just end it. End it here. You're done talking. I love you all. Take care of yourselves, and I will talk to you very soon. See you in the next one. Bye.